studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. Why never do it again? Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review Marvel's Loki Season 1 on Disney+. Plus. This series is the third entry from Marvel's attempt in expanding the Marvel Cinematic Universe or MCU's storyline into individual side characters that you probably normally would never see on their own or in a standalone big budgeted movie. Not to say that there isn't any budget in the now Disney Plus exclusive television miniseries as there are plenty of special effects in the overall presentation that screams quality to make fans happy that there isn't any type of downgrade from the films on the big screen. Just like WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier comes Loki that was produced and released by Disney in 2021 on Disney Plus. With Tom Hiddleston reprising his role as Loki, we pick up from the Avengers Endgame where Loki grabs the Tesseract and then disappears instead of returning to Asgard for his punishment. Doing so, Loki changes the timeline where the TVA agents are sworn to keep the timeline in place. Trying to figure out his place in the chaos, Loki is needed to support the TVA in catching another timeline variant of another Loki. Agreeing to do so embarks Loki on a quest where he meets and befriends female Loki, Sylvie, played by Sofia de Martino. As they meet one another, the series becomes a quest for Loki to decide whether to join Sylvie or Ada TVA and where everything all leads. The story becomes more of a dramatic relationship between Sylvie and Loki and trying to understand each other's wants and disillusions even though they are variants of themselves. The story, writing, and pacing is excellent. The acting from everyone on the series was great and made their characters that much more enjoyable on screen. Although very whimsical at times, we see a huge development in Loki that we saw through the films ending with Avengers Infinity Gauntlet. Although we do know they are different Lokis, it's nice to see the growth in the character once again, but just very differently from the films. The action is on the smaller side of the series, but the action is there and is done very well, with special effects that provide all the big budgeted effects like their big screen part counterparts. You will not be disappointed in the overall effort presented in here. You are here for the mystery, from beginning to end, as it quickly unravels into six episodes, spanning about 40 to 45 minutes each. Every episode comes closer to its eventual conclusion, but each is as important to the last in understanding the want and the why. Unlike the other two entries on Disney+, Plus, the mystery keeps you hooked to the very end without filler episodes like WandaVision to unnecessary bad pacing and trying to add too much with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What I absolutely love most is what the series eventually represents at the very end. I'll try not to speak about spoilers, but I love how the MCU continues to hint and tease the viewers of something that happens here will directly involve and impact its eventual future. Loki is no different here and I can honestly say that this is one series that was a blast to watch and I have never been so much more excited on where this may lead is all I can say without spoilers. The miniseries is just right in length, becomes more than what you expect, and is an adventure of two very charismatic characters from beginning to end that begs for a season two more than any other series I've watched in 2021. Loki gets a strong 8.5 out of 10 for its fantastic storyline and character development that will make you love Loki even more than fans already do. A fantastic entry to the MCU that will leave you drooling on the future of what's to come. That's it for this look at Marvel's miniseries, Loki. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Come on. What did you expect? Damn.
Yeah. Uh.